Hello and welcome to What's New. I'm Edward and today I will be showing you the main changes in the factorization mode from version 0.6.7 to version 0.7.21. Um, so there's a new way to make power. You need solar boilers which are crafted with seven iron ingots and one iron bar and steam turbines which are crafted like this. Um, the old solar turbines are being made obsolete and you cannot make them anymore. But you can trade them for a motor if you put them in a crafting table. So how do solar boilers and steam turbines work? Well, you want to connect a source of water into a solar bo into a steam boiler. First of all, and then you want to co connect some mirrors around the um, steam boiler. Just like that, just like you did with the solar turbine. And that will generate steam. Um, you can stack solar uh, boilers together and you can also stack the mirrors. So each um, set of mirrors will power a certain um, solar boiler here you can stack them as, as much as you want. And the top boiler will produce the steam from all of the blocks and the water that you uh, input will be shared among all of the blocks. So what can you do with this boiler? How can you convert this steam to energy that you can use in factorization? Well, that's what you use the second block for, which is the steam turbine. You just connect it to a source to some steam and then it'll begin producing um, energy. As you can see the um, the fan is turning and now you can see it work. I'll connect a furnace heater and you'll see it lighting up. Uh, this, all of these machines have some uh, redstone behavior. Now you can, for example, this one which is the furnace heater you can turn off by uh, applying a redstone signal as well as this block you can also turn off by applying a redstone signal and if you apply a redstone signal on the solar boilers then they will stop accepting water. Now the steam generated by the solar boilers is um, completely railcraft compatible. Next up we've got um, okay the grinder has a new recipe added to it it's the um, nether rack will produce uh, nether rack powder and we just give it some time and you'll see the recipe taking place and we'll get our we'll get our um, one piece of nether rack powder which you can use to make um, aqua regia and glaze base bright and aqua regia you can use in crystallizers Uh, what else? We've got wrath furnaces can now use nether rack slabs to work. So this contraption is made out of nether brick slabs and they'll, it'll recognize it and it'll work just fine. If we put an iron block in there, it will turn it into dark iron and the fire will keep going on. Uh, upgrade to routers. Routers can now, um, with the machine filter, choose other routers. So if I go to the um, or to the machine selection interface, you can choose other routers. And if you put items in here, you'll see that the iron starts to go down as the other router fills up. Uh, additionally, item filters now work as intended, and you can specify how many items you want them to keep uh, the other machine supplied with. So if we take the iron blocks and we put uh, let's say five here and we say fill the routers and let's say we put a couple of routers then when we put iron blocks into the input it's gonna move uh, five iron blocks into each of the routers because that's what I put in the filter. What else is there? Um, upgrades to the exo boots. There's a new upgrade it's called wall jumping boots and allows you to jump off walls. So let me upgrade my boots with uh, some uh, wall jumping upgrades. You can put up to four. 
and just configure it properly and now let's test it just jump and press the button you've got configured and there you go I just jump off the wall um, additionally I don't know if this was added before but you can now um, make a key binding for a vanilla sprint so I've got it on period and if I walk normally and press period I'll start sprinting what else? Um, sludge has a new use. You can put it in a furnace and it'll turn into clay. So that's a new source of, make of clay. Barrels can now be set on fire just like this. Oops, not if you do it like that, of course. and you'll see the barrel be engulfed by the flames and disappear so yeah be careful about that um, finally some changes to the C key of the pocket crafting table let's say you put items like this if you use the C key it'll now distribute them like that and of course then you can use the B key to balance them out um, as well another change is if you put a stack of items in this slot and you press C it'll put them in this formation so those are the main changes to the mod uh, since 0 0.6.7 I hope you enjoyed the tutorial I've linked to the change log you can see all of the fixes and a few other changes that I have it covered here um, See you next time.